In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just a few basic functions in order to help you make the most of your interactive notebook page. And you'll notice that there are videos that are embedded on all different sides of the notes page. So um, let's say, for example, that you look at the range example and you don't remember exactly how to do the range so you want to watch the instructional video that goes along with it which you can obviously see right here to find the range for a set of data so that's great you can there's a few things that are great so you can just automatically click on it it will start playing you and can, if you've had you can drag before, you might have oops you can drag the corners and you can make it larger so you can see more easily you can really kind of make it as large as you want and then you can just do click the undo button right there to make it back to the size that it was so that um, it goes right back. And so you've watched that. These are great for typing in notes and having the video right next to them. But here's the problem with that Google hasn't quite figured out yet. So I play the video. In this video, we're going to find the range for a set Let's of say I'm playing the video, and I decide that I want to start typing right here in the text box. The thing Google hasn't fixed yet is that the video automatically starts over again. So that's why instead of one long video to help you figure out how to fill in the notes, I have a variety of shorter videos around, because every time you go to type, it's going to restart the video. So my suggestion is to actually watch the entire video and then type in the notes that go along with each video. There are several times that you might, there should be text boxes already in here ready for you to go. Um, but there's definitely some things that you might want to do and you'll see that through some of the other videos. So let's say that I type in some notes here and I want to color code because this is a really important idea. So I'll highlight it. I will go to the top. I'm going to zoom out here so that I can see. And I will go to the edit. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go right here to where it said there's a few different options. I could change the actual color of the words if I wanted to by doing that. I'm a big highlighter, though. I really like to highlight. So I'm going to click highlight color, and it automatically changes the color to what you want to highlight it to. I also like to add little virtual post-its and arrows and stuff like that. You'll see that throughout all the different videos. And to do that, I go here to insert shape. And there's all kinds of different arrows and things that I can put in here. Like, let's say that I'm getting like this right here says, this is a key idea right here, that numbers must be ordered from least to greatest. You'll see what I mean by this later. So I might want to add an arrow here I might want to actually type in the word. I can just type right on top of it and say key idea. You can actually type on top of all the shapes and I can change the color. So I can double click, I can click it and I can go to, it would be helpful if I zoom out just a little bit here. So here I just zoomed out. So I clicked on the arrow and I'm gonna go right here to the fill color. So right there. And let's say I want to make this hot pink just so that it makes it really easy for me to see. And I can drag those shapes around. So this is something you want to play with as far as adding little colored text boxes and shapes in order to make this work the best for you. 